Hi, Arhan here. I'm an enterprise customer engineer at Google Cloud. And hi from me, Priyanka. I'm a customer engineer, and I help Google Cloud customers understand their big data. On an episode earlier, we looked at managing containerized applications with Kubernetes Engine. And you had the chance to deploy a containerized app in Quick Labs. You can check out the link to that episode here. On this episode, we're taking it to another level. Through a hands-on lab, you're going to learn how to build a Slack bot using BotKit, and then run it on Kubernetes Engine. You'll also interact with the bot in a live Slack channel. OK, so a quick recap on Kubernetes Engine. Containers address the problem of how to easily and consistently deploy apps in different environments by allowing them to be broken into smaller independent pieces. These can then be deployed and managed dynamically. Containerization also allows the separation of apps from infrastructure. Leveraging Google's infrastructure, Kubernetes Engine provides the perfect managed environment for deploying, managing, and scaling your containerized applications. By simply describing the compute, memory, and storage resources your app's containers require, Kubernetes Engine automatically provisions and manages the underlying cloud resources. In this lab, creating a cluster on Kubernetes Engine will ensure that it adds a new node to your cluster if your pods don't have enough capacity to run. Conversely, if a node in your cluster is underutilized, Kubernetes Engine can delete the node. You'll also use Kubernetes Engine to create a deployment. Bot users enable workspaces to interact with external services or your custom code and have many of the same qualities as their human counterparts. Bot users have profile photos and names. They can be direct messaged or mentioned. They can post messages and upload files. And they can even be invited to and kicked out of a public and private conversation. The biggest difference between bots and regular users is that instead of interacting with the workspace through mobile or desktop apps, bots are controlled programmatically through APIs. Within a Slack channel, bots can do nearly anything you program them to do. All right, time for Quick Labs. In this hands-on lab, you are going to create a bot that posts a simple message. By completing the lab, you're going to learn how to create a custom bot integration in Slack, build a Node.js image in Docker, upload a Docker image to a private Google container registry, and run a Slack bot on Kubernetes Engine. You can check out the links to start the Quick Labs here. Keep in mind that it's going to take you about an hour to complete. The lab requires access to a Slack team where you're authorized to create custom integrations. To set up the lab, you clone the code repository and install Node.js dependencies. We then create a new Slack app, add a new bot user to the app, and get the bot user an OAuth access token. We edit the Node.js file with the OAuth access token. We run the bot. In Slack, we can see that our bot user is now online. We send our bot a message and get a response. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you've developed other cool Slack bots, we'd love to hear about them. If you haven't signed up for the $300 free trial credit on GCP, check out this link. It's a great way to apply what you've learned. All of our additional training resources are linked below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon. Want to know more about Deployment Manager? Check out our full episode where we dive into a lab and highlight this service. 